years. Former Kenya Pipeline Company Managing Director Joe Sang and five others have been acquitted by a court in Nairobi over charges involving a 1.9 billion shilling tender for the Kisumu oil jetty. Chief Magistrate Victor Wakumile cited lack of evidence to prove the charges, saying the persons before him should have never been charged in the first place. Let's get more from our very own Sam Gitug. Exactly four years ago, on the 7th of December 2018, the then managing director of the Kenya Pipeline Company, Joe Sang, was arrested and processed at the Directorate of Criminal Investigations. He and four other officials spent the weekend in police cells until they were processed in court the following week and freed on bail. And after four years, Joe Sang and five former senior officers of the KPC have now been acquitted they are former company secretary Gloria Kafafa, former head of procurement Vincent Chiriot, Nicholas Gatobu, who served as procurement manager, general manager in charge of infrastructure Billy Aseka, and GM Finance Samuel Odonio. The count against six, six accused person also fails. So in a nutshell, the entire case against accused one, two, three, four, five, six collapses under section 215 CPC. Senior Principal Magistrate Victor Kumile observed that despite charges that the officials had implemented a project that had never been planned for, costing 1.9 billion shillings, the Kisumu oil jetty project was conceived as early as in the year 2006 when most of the accused persons had not joined the company. Their mistake, according to the prosecution, was that they regularly made payments between June 2016 and June 2017. Wakumile regretted that he was forced to listen to a matter that should have never been taken to court. The evidence here is that they delivered what no local company had ever done, a project of a 1.9 billion. So instead of being appreciated, we, we ended up vilifying them. The judgment by Wakumile comes just weeks after he allowed the withdrawal of charges against Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa after the ODPP pleaded lack of evidence to sustain a full trial. The senior principal magistrate regretting having spent years working on a case that was weak evidentially. I still made a lot of noise like in the other ruling why you allowed me to go through this case, writing, writing and uh, even you and me we went to the same law school Although at different times, we know the rules of evidence. I even mentioned that some time, point in time, it was embarrassing for you people to prosecute. By the time Sang was arrested, he had notified the KPC board that he would be leaving the company in four months, by which time he would not be seeking renewal of his contract. He was, however, sacked upon his arrest as the other accused persons lost their jobs after they were barred from accessing the offices. It was an emotional relief for them. Don't cry today, son. <laughs> Don't cry. What you can do is to fight. I keep saying, fight for that disclosure office. Sam Gitu Citizen TV, Nairobi.